Simone Biles once again has done the impossible. During the 2024 U.S. Olympic Gymnastics Trials, she unveiled a new move that has everyone talking. This isn't just another addition to her already impressive repertoire, it's a game changer. Can you believe how she keeps pushing the boundaries of what's possible in gymnastics? It's called the Yurchenko Double Pike, and it's as complex as it sounds. To pull this off, Simone starts with a round off onto the springboard, followed by a back handspring onto the vaulting table. But here's where it gets mind blowing. Instead of the usual layout or tuck position, she executes two flips with her body piked, legs straight and together. This move has a difficulty score of 6.4, making it one of the hardest vaults in women's gymnastics. Think about the strength, precision, and sheer guts it takes to do that. One wrong move, and you're looking at a serious injury, but Biles makes it look like a walk in the park. The significance of this move in the gymnastics community is huge. It's not just about adding a new element to her routine, it's about pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Gymnastics is all about innovation and evolution, and Biles is at the forefront, constantly raising the bar. Other gymnasts see her perform these moves and realize that the ceiling of difficulty has just been lifted higher. It's like she's rewriting the rulebook of gymnastics with every competition. Think of it like this. Simone launches into her vault, completes the Yurchenko double pike, and lands with such precision that the entire arena erupts in applause. The audience is on their feet, some with their jaws literally dropping. People are screaming, clapping, and you can see phones in the air capturing the moment. Her husband, Jonathan Owens, an NFL player for the Chicago Bears, is there too, cheering louder than anyone else. It's a moment of pure, unfiltered awe. The judges, seasoned experts who have seen it all, are visibly impressed. One judge even had to adjust their glasses, as if to double-check what they just witnessed. The scores reflect their astonishment. A whopping 15.500 for the vault. Experts and fans alike took to social media to share their amazement. NBC analyst John Rothberger summed it up perfectly when he said, Simone is like an artist, a musician of her craft. People come to see greatness, and she embodies it. Fans on Twitter and Instagram couldn't contain their excitement. One user wrote, Did you see that? Simone Biles just did the impossible. Another fan commented, Every time I think she can't get any better, she proves me wrong. Absolute legend. Even Taylor Swift, whose song Ready For It was part of Biles' floor routine music, chimed in with, Watched this so many times and still unready. She's ready for it though. Simone kicked off the competition on the vault, and let me tell you, she set the bar incredibly high from the start. Her Yurchenko double pike was flawless, earning her a jaw-dropping score of 15.500. Watching her soar through the air with such power and precision was like watching a superhero in action. No one else even came close on the vault that night. Next up were the uneven bars. Now, this is typically where some gymnasts might falter, but not Biles. She moved with such grace and fluidity, hitting every handstand and release move with pinpoint accuracy. Her score? A solid 14.200, proving once again that she's not just a powerhouse, but also a technician. The beam, however, brought a bit of drama. Biles had a shaky moment on an aerial and even fell off the beam. You could hear the collective gasp from the audience. Despite the hiccup, she managed to score a 13.900, which, let's be honest, is still impressive given the circumstances. It's a shout out to her resilience and ability to recover quickly. Which brings us to the floor routine. This was the grand finale, and Biles did not disappoint. She dazzled the crowd with her intricate choreography and explosive tumbling passes, ending her routine to a standing ovation. 
Her score of 14.725 not only solidified her win in the all-around, but also left no doubt that she's still the queen of the floor. When we look at the scores overall, Biles finished with a total of 117.225, a significant lead over her closest competitors, Suni Lee and Jordan Chilis, who scored 111.675 and 111.425, respectively. It's clear that Biles is in a league of her own, but it's also worth noting the incredible talent of Lee and Chilis, who will be joining her in Paris. Beyond the scores and the routines, What's truly remarkable is Simone's emotional and mental journey leading up to these trials. Remember, this is the same athlete who faced immense pressure and mental health challenges during the Tokyo 2021 Olympics, experiencing the dreaded twisties. Many athletes might have considered stepping back after such an ordeal, but not Biles. She took time off to prioritize her mental health, worked closely with her therapist, and came back stronger than ever. A huge source of support has been her husband, Jonathan Owens. You could see him in the crowd, cheering her on, his pride and love for Simone evident in every moment. Their bond is truly heartwarming and a reminder of how important a strong support system is for any athlete. Biles herself has spoken openly about how crucial her mental health has been to her return. She's not just performing for medals, but also advocating for the importance of mental well-being in sports. Simone Biles' new move at the 2024 U.S. Olympic Gymnastics Trials isn't just a jaw-dropping display of athleticism, it's a milestone that's set to reshape the future of gymnastics. You see, every time Simone takes to the floor, she's not just competing, she's pushing the boundaries of what's possible in the sport. Her Yurchenko double pike, for instance, isn't just a vault, it's a statement. It's a move so complex and difficult that it raises the bar for everyone else. Gymnasts around the world now have a new standard to strive for, and coaches are likely revisiting their training plans to incorporate more advanced techniques. The evolution of gymnastics has always been about increasing complexity and difficulty, but Simone is accelerating this trend at an unprecedented rate. With each new move she introduces, she's expanding the vocabulary of the sport. It's no longer just about perfecting existing skills, but also about innovating and creating new ones. This shift means that future gymnasts will need to be even more versatile, powerful, and creative. The routines will get more intricate and the competition fiercer. But that's what makes gymnastics so exciting, right? Watching athletes perform feats that seem to defy gravity and logic is what keeps us all on the edge of our seats. Now, think about the young gymnasts watching Simone. Imagine being a little girl at home, eyes glued to the TV as Biles flips and twists through the air. Simone isn't just an athlete to these kids, she's a superhero. She's someone who has faced enormous pressure, taken time to address her mental health, and come back stronger. She's living proof that you can overcome obstacles, that it's okay to take care of yourself, and that you can still achieve greatness. These young gymnasts now have a role model who embodies resilience, dedication, and innovation. Simone's journey tells them that they too can push the limits and redefine what's possible. Beyond the gymnastics community, Simone Biles' achievements have a broader cultural significance. In a world where mental health is often stigmatized, especially in sports, Biles has become a powerful advocate. Her openness about her struggles during the Tokyo 2021 Olympics and her subsequent focus on mental health has sparked important conversations. She's shown that prioritizing mental health isn't a sign of weakness, but a necessary part of being a top athlete, or frankly, a top human being. So, what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.